All right, three over 51. If I find my factors of three, it is prime. So it is one and three. Now 51 is one that confuses people often. If I use my divisibility rules for three, the sum of the digits is a multiple of three. Well, the sum of the digits in 51 is five plus one. So that means three times something goes, or three times something equals 51. Now, I don't have this memorized, so I'm gonna check it. Three times 51, my answer is gonna be a two digit number. Three goes into five. Uh, one time, I subtract, I get two, bring down the one, three goes into 21 seven times, subtract and zero. So I'm going to divide both of these by three, dividing by a fraction that equals one, because when I divide something by one, it via a fraction that has the same numerator and denominator equals one, and if I divide by one, that doesn't change the value. So three divided by three is one, 51 divided by three is 17. I can go down here, if I do this, it helps me with my division. And any fraction that has a one as a numerator is in simplest form already.